Hey there everybody, Brian here. So modern diesel engines, Euro 6 emissions levels, the diesel particulate filter can get full of soot a bit quicker than they would have had before because they're trying to trap loads of soot to stop it getting into the atmosphere. And you know, the good news is it's a really clean engine, but it needs to clear itself out and burn the soot out. To allow the process to occur, which is basically burning the soot, or in other words, oxidization of the soot, the car has to be doing at least 60 kilometers per hour. The engine revolutions have to be between 1,500 and 2,500 RPM, and ideally they reckon for 25 minutes. If these criteria are met, then the car will clear out its diesel particulate filter and all is well. Unfortunately, for some people, they do really short stop-start driving. In this case, the car will try and clear itself out, but if it doesn't meet the criteria, it'll try again, it will try again, but eventually it'll get to a point where the short stop-start driving is not meeting the criteria and the car will be full of soot. Or more precisely, the diesel particulate filter is full of soot. The car will send a message to the driver at that point, which is this diesel particulate filter light in a constant fashion, and the driver must then get the car to a road and cruise at a constant fashion at over 60 km per hour between 1500 and 2500 rpm for 25 minutes technically but there is variance on this so this car here we started driving it at 18 minutes to two and by seven minutes later it had actually completely cleared the diesel particulate filter warning to be fair this will vary a little bit between different drivers and different environments but it's there or thereabouts hopefully that makes sense so far so a couple other things that people are going to ask uh, the first one is what happens if i don't drive out the road and clear it when it asks me when the puff of smoke kind of symbol in other words the diesel particulate filter light when that comes on if you don't keep and if you do keep driving eventually it will get to a critical point where it'll probably put the car into a lip mode and it'll put on an engine management light and at that point it's now saying you have to visit the dealer to get this rectified and it's not something you should do and you can also cause harm to the diesel particulate filter so don't do that so when you see the light coming on get out get it cleared uh, the second thing I think people are going to ask is how often should I drive my car like that to keep it clear if I am living in town I do very small driving I can't give you an exact science on this so all I'm saying to you is I think I would advise once a week if you're doing a lot of short stop start driving once a week get down a motorway for 25 minutes allow it to clear itself out obviously the light might not come on because if you do it once a week the light will probably never come on because you're keeping it clear and that's the whole thing you need to manage it so keep it clear so once a week uh, I would imagine 25 minutes down a motorway, that'll keep it clear. Just one thing I'm after thinking up there, so there's gonna be some people watching this. If you have a constant diesel particulate filter light, yes, you can go drive the car and clear it out. If, however, you have a flashing diesel particulate filter light, most likely, if you haven't already got it, you'll get an engine management light pretty soon. That is at a point where it's too late and you gotta visit the dealer. So when it's a constant light, you can do something about it by driving it. If it's a flashing light, you're more than likely gonna to have to visit the dealer. For a lot of people, this could end up being the last diesel car they ever buy. So if they're doing very, very short driving, it's probably going to be something like a petrol hybrid or electric car next time they purchase a vehicle. So get what I'm trying to say to you on something like this, if you're do, doing some small driving, yes, ideally a hybrid car would be better, but sometimes the price point mightn't be accessible for everyone and they've stayed driving diesel or their circumstances might've changed. So if you've got a diesel and it's one of the new Euro 6s, you gotta manage them. And if you do the correct driving once a week, then you probably will never have a diesel particulate light coming on. But at least now after looking at the video, you know the conditions that you need to give the car to allow it to clear itself out. Anyway, if there's something I've missed in the video, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer the questions. Thanks a million for watching.